I'm sick of these new niggas out. I'm that new nigga. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine niggas want a war, ten niggas on the floor, eleven niggas on the floor, twelve killers want a war, thirteen. Killers. What is up, guys? So today we are going to be doing a tutorial on advanced speed ramping. This is the most requested tutorial I've ever been asked to make. Everyone always asks how I do my speed ramps, what software I use, how do I do it in that software, and the answer is After Effects. I use After Effects for all of my speed ramping. I just really do not like how speed ramping works in Premiere. It's clunky and it's hard to work with, so I use After Effects, and within After Effects, I use Graph Editor. So in order to learn Graph Editor properly, you must understand basic graphing. So we're gonna go back all the way to elementary school here. I actually went to school for mechanical engineering, so graphs just make sense to me. If they don't to you, hopefully this will help a little bit. So let's get into some of the basics of graphing. So remember, back when you learned graphs in school, you have your X and Y axes. This is my X axis, and this is my Y axis. Now, I'm gonna draw a line right here. This line has a slope that we refer to as M. In basic math, that's just what we use for slope. And of course, you can make lines with any slope. So let's make another one, but this one's going to be less steep. Now let's make another one, but we're gonna make this one more steep. So the slope of this less steep line is smaller than the slope of our original line, and the slope of this steeper line is the biggest of all three. So the more steep the line, the bigger the slope. This is important because slope equals speed in Graph Editor. This is very important. The more steep your slope is, the bigger your slope is, the faster your clip is going to be moving. These lines have a perfectly constant slope, so they're going to be mo moving at a constant speed. Now, if you want to do a really nice speed ramp, you want to do a curved slope. So it's going to start slow down here, smaller slope, smaller slope, and then it gets steeper, and then it gets faster up here. So if we ramp it up like that, then you start to get your speed ramp. So you can see the slope is smaller here, it gets gets bigger here, and then it gets the biggest up here. Now that's just a really quick basic reminder of how graphs and slopes work. It's important because in Graph Editor, you want to start with a small slope, less speed, and then speed it up, and then come back down to regular speed if you want to have a smooth speed ramping transition. Anyhow, let's just get right into the software. Rewatch that graphing part if you have to, just understand that the steeper the line, the faster your clip is gonna be moving. Now there are two main types of speed ramps that I use in my videos. The first is a speed ramp ramp from one clip to another clip using it as a transition and the other kind is staying within the same clip and just speeding up to another part of that same clip. We're actually going to do that one first so let's get into After Effects. In this clip you can see it starts next to me and it flies by me and then reveals downtown LA. I want to do a speed ramp so it starts here and then ends here really fast. What you want to do is right click time, enable time remapping, and then you're going to have to create some keyframes. Let's make one at the very beginning of this clip, one at the very end. This little keyframe at the end here is the actual end of this clip. I had already shifted it around, so we have to create our beginning and end keyframes. Now this clip is still going to play regular speed because I have not moved those keyframes. What we're going to do is pick where we want the speed to start speeding up. Let's say right about here. So it zooms by me. Then we need to pick where we want it to slow back down. And let's say right about here. So we have this time to see the actual skyline after the speed ramp. Bring both of these keyframes at the end here in. So the speed between these keyframes is still regular speed and the speed between these keyframes is still regular speed. But between the middle two, it's going to be fast because we just squeezed all of that time into a much smaller area. And bring those in real tight so you really get a whooshy speed ramp there. And then we end up with something like this. So it starts at regular speed and then speeds up and goes back to regular speed. However, it's not super smooth. Now, if you guys do not have the time to get really precise with your speed ramping and making it perfectly smooth, you can get it really close to perfect by right clicking that first first keyframe, selecting ease out, and then selecting ease in on the second keyframe where you're slowing back down. Now you can watch and see what happens there. That is pretty damn good. Now I'm going to show you how to customize it and to really make this look exactly the way you want it to. You can make it more whooshy, you can make it more smooth, and do whatever you want using Graph Editor. So we're going to select our time remapping keyframes. You can select any of them. You just need to select at least one of them so that After Effects knows what you want to use Graph Editor for. And then you click Graph Editor and then we can go in here and start manipulating these slopes to look however we want. So you can see during the first part it's a constant slope. It's just regular speed. At the end of the clip it is also regular speed however in here you can see it speeds up 
and then it slows back down to regular speed. But what we want to do is just make sure it's as smooth as possible. So drag these out. You want these yellow bars perfectly parallel with the regular speed portions so that it eases back into regular speed and eases out of regular speed smooth. So you just wanna make sure that these yellow bars are parallel to the end and beginning of your clip. Now in between here is where it speeds up and then it starts slowing back down to regular speed. I actually want it to be more whooshy and fast from the first part of the clip to the last part. So what we're gonna do is extend these yellow bars, keep it parallel with the beginning and end of the clips. But the further you extend them, you can see that the slope actually eases into the fast part a lot longer and then the fast part is much less time because on the horizontal plane we have time so the amount of time it's taking to do this time remapping is now a lot shorter so it's easing in easing in easing in speed ramp easing out easing out easing out i hope that makes sense you really need to understand graphs to really get this down that or you can just look at the shapes of these curves and copy them but i highly suggest you understand basic graphing to get this down perfectly now it looks something Thing like this it's a lot more whooshy it keeps the beginning and end smooth and that is it that's how you do that type of speed ramping I use that in a lot of videos specifically when I have really long drone shots where I want to show one subject and then move to another subject I really love that type of speed ramping now lastly I would just add CC force motion blur to your clip that way it automatically creates motion blur based on the time remapping and you come up with something like this so that's the first type of speed ramp that I use in a lot of my videos. Now we're gonna get into transitional speed ramps, which are probably going to be more popular. It is a very common transition and it's really clean, smooth, without taking away from the integrity of the clips. I say that because a lot of transitions just add a lot of stuff on top of your clips and they kind of take away from the footage. With speed ramping, it never does that because the transition is based on the motion of the footage. Speaking of which, here are the two clips I'm going to show you how to do a transition speed ramp on now something I want you guys to take note of is the motion of the clips when I do transitions between two clips I try to match the camera motion of both shots so if a shots moving to the left I want the next shot to start moving to the left so that way when you speed it up from one clip to the next it'll be regular motion moving to the left and then it'll speed up moving to the left and then it'll slow back down and it's still moving to the left that continuity is really important for transitions if you want your transitions to be very smooth you want something to be continuous between the two shots and my favorite thing to make continuous is the motion of the two shots you can see this first clip is panning left and then this next clip starts by panning left so I'm going to use that to speed ramp the transition and it'll look so much smoother because both shots are moving in the same direction we just have to right click our first clip enable time remapping make sure you have a keyframe at the beginning and end of your clip then place a keyframe where you want your speed ramping to start we're gonna make it right here and then we're gonna bring this in you have to bring in the the clip as well because we want this to be the end of our clip and then it's going to speed up and go into the next clip now we have to time remap our second clip so right click time enable time remapping and then put a keyframe where you want the speed to slow back down and then bring in that first keyframe so that it's fast at the beginning now you just bring those two clips together and we can see what that looks like on its own. That's pretty cool, but it's not super smooth. Now here's where we make it smooth again in Graph Editor. So we go in, click one of the keyframes on your first clip, click Graph Editor, zoom in so that you can see, and then add a easy ease out on that last keyframe where it's normal speed. This is where the speed ramp starts. Then we click on that last keyframe, do an easy ease in using that button, and then create your little slope there. So it's constantly getting faster. So the first part of that speed ramp is looking real smooth. Now we just need to have it slow down smoothly so it doesn't just stop like right there. Now, same concept here. We click our keyframe for time remapping on the second clip, press graph editor again. And now we have to zoom in, easy ease in on that keyframe where it's starting to be normal speed again, and then go to your first keyframe, do an easy ease out, and then shape it so that it's really fast, a bigger slope at the beginning, and it comes back down to regular speed. It should look something like this. Now, if you look at your transition, it should be smoother. Let it render out. 
Boom. I think it's a little too whooshy on the second clip, so let's actually ease it in a little more. You just have to play around with it to get it right. You want this to be parallel with the second portion of the clip, but you can drag it out a little more to slow down that transition a bit more. You could also pull this to the left to slow it down a bit more as well. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. However, I, I just think it's a little too much, so let's let's extend this clip and drag this out just so it slows it down a little bit. That looks pretty good to me. I still think it's a bit too whooshy. I'm going to drag this keyframe back so that first really fast bit is not included. So we're starting from here and ramping back down. So let's see if that looks better. That looks smooth. And the last thing is, in this case, since there's two clips, let's actually add an adjustment layer above, shorten it to be the length of your speed ramping transition, and then add a CC force motion blur to that. And now we can rewatch that and see how it looks. And that just adds the motion blur for the transition. And that is really it for the tutorial, guys. I, I know this tutorial was kind of basic for some of you, but for others, I hope it was really informative. It's the way I love doing speed ramping because it allows me the most freedom to make the ramps look however I want them to look. I can determine how fast I want the speed ramp, I can determine exactly where I want it to start and stop using graph editor and it's just you have so much more freedom and you can make things look exactly the way you want. You just have to become comfortable with reading the graphs and using graph editor. If you are not following me on Instagram yet, make sure to follow me at Drew Kosak. I'm a music video director, I do weddings, and obviously I do a lot of visual effects work. I've been trying to grow this channel for a long time and it's now just starting to gain some traction. I actually wanted to wait to post this tutorial. Now that the channel is finally growing, I thought it would be a good idea to make one of these. So let me know if this was helpful in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or DM me on Instagram. Again, it's at Drew Kosak and subscribe to this channel. I have loads more After Effects tutorial ideas in mind and they will all be coming very soon. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Trying to get back to the bus. If I do not make a few million and shit, it, I might just go back to the hustle. I got me some product and I ain't gonna hide it. I might just start trapping in public. I might go to 